what is up you guys back here and i want to talk about ufc 280 in october october 22nd we have the main event of course for the undisputed lightweight championship um the vacant lightweight championship i might add uh charles alorevo taking on islam mahachev the Coleman event, Aljamain Sterling, TJ Dillashaw, and the, the you know, the bout before the Coleman event, we have Piotr Yard taking on Sean O'Malley. And in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about the main event, of course, Charles Oliveira and Isla Mahachev. Um, before I get started, make sure to hit the subscribe, ring that bell. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers, guys. Um, yeah, man, really would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, man. So this main event is so cool, and I think it's still a little messed up for me. And the fact of them stripping Charles Oliveira for a half a pound of being champion, messing it up for him um, for his title defenses, you know. I, and then then we had the whole debacle with the Diaz and Chamayev, and Chamayev still being able to like, even though it's not a title fight, but it's still I think it's still messed up. Um, you know, I feel like, but, uh, you know, Islam Mahachev, great wrestler, of course, trains out there with Habib Nurmagomedov, so you already know his wrestling going to be top-notch. But I think this is the fun part, I feel like, um, I feel like Charles Oliveira, his striking's improved, the grappling has always been on point. There's, there's there's nothing compared to, like, when it comes to his jiu-jitsu, it's phenomenal. Um, you know, he stopped the guys of, like, like of the guys of, like, Justin Gaethje. You know, Dustin Poirier, like Charles Oliveira, and he's, he's fought the who's who's opponent between featherweight and lightweight. Um, Islam Mahachev, still fresh in the game for the most part. Uh, he looks good for the last couple of times I did see him, but come on, to be honest, the wrestling is just, you know, he's been dominating everybody when it comes to the wrestling. And if he gets anybody with the hands, it's because everybody's worrying about that wrestling and worrying about him taking them down and just out wrestling them. And I feel like this is. When it comes to this fight right here, when you have a really good jiu-jitsu practitioner in Charles Oliveira facing somebody that has great wrestling and is a Mahacha. And I feel like at times, the wrestling is strong, especially in MMA. Like, there's no if, ands, or but about it. But jiu-jitsu is just as slick and strong. You know, Mahachev, you know, it kind of, he kind of like does the Habib thing when it comes to like holding down and then ground and pounding. If the submission presents itself, he'll take it, you know. But somebody as slick as Charles Oliveira, I don't feel like he's just going to let Mahachev just out-wrestle him. I mean, even if, I mean, he might, you know, he might get out-wrestled. But when it comes to the jiu-jitsu aspect, I feel like Oliveira has the advantage in that. To me personally, I feel like... You know, wrestling is very dominant when it comes to taking down, controlling, and then for MMA purposes, the ground and pound. That's all great. But somebody as slick as Charles Oliveira on the ground, and if Oliveira can take the back of Islam Mahachev, you know, I, I want to see that. I want to see how Mahachev deals with the, the jiu-jitsu part of Charles Oliveira in this fight. When it comes to their hands, both guys, all right. Oliveira, I feel like his boxing's improved a lot. And I feel like for Oliveira... I don't feel like he's going to have to worry too much about, you know, he's not going to be worried if he's on his back because he has really good jiu-jitsu. Um, I feel like he's going to be able to let his hands go. You know, obviously, Mahachev, if, it, if it's not going too well on the feet, he's going to go for the takedown, of course. Um, and I feel like that, you know, for for Mahachev, I feel like he's going to have to be on top. Be on top, but be smart. You know, watch out and watch out for the slickness of Charles Oliveira on the ground. And if Oliveira takes his back, definitely got to be very well defending that because Oliveira is really good at getting those rear naked chokes or getting the guillotines in there. Um, you know, so I feel like it's an interesting fight. I feel like it's a pretty even fight when it comes to, like, the I mean, the skill set to both guys. Um, you know, I'll still say the slight favor when it comes to striking to me is Oliveira. You know, and he's been on a terror lately too, man. And Oliveira has a great chin. He took big shots from Justin Gaethje, Poirier, and still bounced back to come and win. Uh, also with Michael Chandler as well. Michael Chandler hits like a freaking truck. You know, so like seeing him being able to take those big shots and come back and win, you know, is just, 
is just crazy to see. You know, and I believe this fight is going to be taking place in Abu Dhabi. Um, you know, I mean, it's going to be a big thing for uh, Oliveira. I really hope the travel doesn't really affect his performance. I hope he gets to Abu Dhabi early, you know, just to get acclimated with the weather. Uh, with, with everything, you know, being in Abu Dhabi, you know, him all the way from Brazil. Um, from Mahachev. You know, I, like I said, it's going to be a tough fight, man. I, I can't wait to see it. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a freaking amazing fight. The card is amazing as well. Um, you guys let me know down in the comment section what do you guys thought and what do you guys think of this matchup between the two main eventers here. Um, stay tuned for my other videos from a co-main event and my breakdown of the Pyotr Yarn versus Sean O'Malley and Aljo versus TJ Dillashaw for the Bantamweight title. And uh, yeah, man, if you guys like the video, make sure to please throw those thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Of, and I thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.